Hello everyone, what's up? How's it going? I hope you're all doing great. This is me, Karen, again in a new video that, like other videos that I shared in the YouTube, I made my social medias. I wanted to talk about some uh, critical points and some different idea about the one of, one of the most important process in the world that we are calling good oil production facility. By the way, it's in the top of the, this is high system I'm calling, I'm written down the CPF light oil treatment, that means central process of production facility. This is the main, the name that we are calling in the fields, okay? Uh, for that reason, in this video, I'm not uh, doing any activity on the hyacinth. Just I did it by the hyacinth, the process. Just I wanted to explain for all of you, okay? Maybe small of you, they do not and they don't have information about the CPA. And most of you, they wanted to get one job. Most of you, for example, you have experience, but maybe some time is, but by the way, by the time you all miss some idea. Okay, this is that uh, the main location main receiver point okay that we are calling reception point for the getting the oil and multi multi-phase uh, material that's coming from the wells okay and here in the beginning we have a OGM one three main line that's coming to our process and all of them we are collecting by the, the main manifold okay guys and also after manifold that means collecting all the OGMs we are collecting from the one manifold to put it one line just and this line is the multi phase line okay that means it's consists of the gas and the water and oils also this line is go to where to the first location and receiver of the, our process we are calling slack catcher okay guys this slack catcher is help us to separate this is generally we have a two phase in the slack catcher this is a horizontal two phase slack catcher this slack catcher is help us to separate the java gas from the liquid okay by the way in this video i wanted to uh, talk and explain it a little bit deeply okay about the this, this idea that i have that i working on it okay look guys as you know this is a first point that is it's available in, in our plant okay that we are calling for example the ogm1 ogm2 ogm3 that means oil gathering manifold number one and oil gathering manifold number two and oil gathering num manifold number three by the way you know guys you know if uh, maybe you where your wells and our well is so far from the cpf for that reason we cannot install in cpf in the different location by the way for that reason we are put it one we are all installing and created one cpf in the special location okay and then we can collect in all the well and send it to the cpf by the pipeline for that reason you know we are I'm written down the OGM one that means oil gathering manifold that is mean in this side okay we have a multiple wells that we are collecting together and we are put it in one line from there okay and the OGM two is also we have a multiple well that that we are collected by the multiple selector and then collecting together and we are there send it to where to our CPF and also OGM3, that means maybe OGM1 is consisted of 10 well, OGM2 maybe consists of 5, 15, 20 wells, and OGM3 maybe it's consisted of 2, 3, 4, and 10 and extra, okay? For that reason, the, the main OGM, that means oil gathering manifold idea, is collecting the wells. That means that means it's not need to send the wells by one by one individual to the CPU. That means it's make a crowd of the pipeline. It is if you have a for example any fire in any location, maybe it's get a damage and we are getting the big and facing the big problem. Okay, for that reason, all of them they are collecting the special location and these wells, for example, OGM one is consists ten wells. They are collecting and mixing and gathering together in the multiple selector and send it and become one pipe. And this pipe they are sending from the well, the gathering manifold, send it to where to the CPF. Look, you can imagine OGM one is consists five, OGM two consists of fifteen, OGM one consists. 
10 at 20, okay? This means, let's see, it's totally we have 20 wells. This 20 wells is coming by the three different lines. This three different lines, for example, the size of the line may be 20, 24 inches. That's mean the big line in this because we have a multi-phase like a liquid crude oil and we have a warex also and we have a what we have a, uh, the gases also for that reason for each for each OGMs that means we are getting from the CPF this is this pipeline is consisting in the installing of the CPF but before this OGM is that means it's back to to the oil getting in money for selectors and the wells is available there okay guys if you see it's of each OGM that means it's passed through the ESD emergency shutdown valve that means if you have any abnormality there for example if you see in here we have a PIT and we have a TIT that means but generally we are focusing on the pressure indicator uh, control for uh, maybe it's just in here I'm written down the PIC that means not PIC we can write down just PI that means PI transmitter something like that okay I can go to there and change the name guys look I can write down PIC not PI pressure indicator okay press PIT pressure indicator transmitter okay guys for that reason look at the normally the pressure inside of this OGM of this main line for example is consisted of the 12 bar 13 bars okay but when the pressure of this line is reaching for example in here reaching to 20 bars at that time that means it is make a problem because the design for making this pipeline is not acceptable for 20 bar for that reason we have to protect our system or pipeline for that reason if the pressure of this indicator is written down for example is reading 20 bar directly sending the signal to ESD the ESD is directly is shut at the wall the the line to protect the line because maybe the pressure increase by what by we have a we have an issue we have any problem from the downstream downstream okay for slack cache and sometimes maybe the the manual valves out of this of this line is closed Okay, for that reason, we have to have an emergency system to protect it. our pipeline, our, our system separator, something like that, okay? And by the way, the OGN3 is coming. We have the ESD, we have an indicator that's connected to the SIS system, okay? And we have a temperature indicator is here. And also, we have a pipeline. By the pipeline, we are, we can transfer in the three multi-phase to where to the special manifold that means if you see we have a OGM 3 2 and 1 should be all of them collected by what by the one source and this source we are sending to where to the our process in here is also we have a, another manifold but this manifold we are installing in our CPF this is, is different that OGM oil gathering manifold because this is not installing our uh, CPF location this is this is installing in the in the uh, another location that is con connecting and mixing all the wells that I talked about already. Okay, the second main line or gyms also we have ESD, we have a, a PRT for example, and here it's also written down the PIC. It's not right. We have to change to the PIT guys. Pressure indicator transmitter. This transmitter is connecting with the SIS system. By the way, we have indicators more that's for the PV for normal operation that we can read it and the also OGM one it is coming to here okay each OGM is considered for example it can we can take for example the different range of the production for example in here we can produce in production the a crude oil from the OGM one for example is 10,000 barrel per day the OGM two is different and three is also for that reason we are collecting a uh, all, all the OGM is by the manifold. This is manifold. This is the main manifold that we have. It's also, after manifold, we have what we have emergency shutdown valves. Also, for that reason, if you are connecting all of them, if you have any variation in the pressure here before that manifold go to the system directly, for example, if the pressure in here is also I written down the PIC because in the uh, last my activity on the high set, I did it the different uh, activity. PRT for example the PRT in here the OGM is for example let's say the pressure inside of the pipe is, is consisted 15 bar but when you're connecting together this is the pipeline of the OGM is much bigger than the water OGM 1 2 and 3 
but the RSI the pressure in here for example reaching in here 15 reaching 60 and 60 70 at that time the ESC it will be shut for protecting the plant by the way all of the OGMs we are sending to where to the the first reception point that we are calling slack catcher okay this slack catcher is really really so important for the bronze for the process by the way it's, it's normally in the for example another CPU they don't have any slack catcher because the flow that's coming from the wall is not slugging flow okay guys why we have a slack catcher because during the the production of the welds and the weld testing okay the the engineer production engineer and other guys is that this they are responsibility in the the welds they are facing the issue of that we have a slack flow if you have a slack flow that's mean what does mean the slack flow that means sometimes maybe that just the gas is coming uh, from inside of the the OGM3 okay and OGM2 and OGM1 for the short time for for example for the some seconds okay maybe just the gas is coming after the gas is is become for example the normal three phase okay by the way if for example sometimes the gas came in sometimes just the oil came in we have a fluctuating that's mean we have a slugging inside of what of the pipeline this slugging is not help us to control it in our plant that's mean for example if you don't have a slug catcher here directly we have a first stage separator when we are sending the all three phase to the first stage separator but in during the time by the time that sometimes the gas is coming that's mean the amount of the huge amount of the gas is coming to the process and the huge amount of the liquid is coming that means it is not to help us to control in the liquid inside of the separator and the pressure of the separator for that reason we are installing the slug catcher to catching sludge okay flow and in here what we can do is settle down the flow to become the, the laminar flow okay for that reason, we are using the slack catcher. In this slack catcher, we have a two-phase separator, but we are calling the slack for that reason because we wanted to catch in the slack flow. If we are catching slack flow, that means we can uh, prepare the laminar flow that we can send it to the, for example, first stage from here. As you see in here with the slack catcher, in the, the downstream, we have in the down over, in the bottom of the separator, we have a two main lines that's good, for example, into two different rain, trains. That means we have a train A, liquid goes to train B. That means totally in here we have a liquid, and liquid is considered in here, liquid is considered all the crude oil on the water. That means in this slack catcher, we cannot separate it all through phase. And the total that we have the, the gas, okay, the gas is one of the gas line goes to the train A and one of the gas is go to the train B. By this way, we can control in the slack flow from slack catcher. And then we can send it a smooth flow from here, from outlet in the liquid and the gas to where, to the first stage for each train. By this way, that means we are protecting the plant, we can we can for example get in the high separation between the gas oil and the water okay that is this is so simple we are using slack catcher for that issue that problem that we are facing during what during the wealth testing okay guys this is the general view for our point that means some of you I right know maybe you have some at CPF maybe you can get some useful by the way I can't using this is the main program that you know this is a unique program this we are calling the hyacinth you can get useful for controlling this means I can control in the, the pressure and the liquid inside of separated by what by the control virus okay because in here we have a split range controller in the top it's also we have a split range controller maybe sometimes in the top we have a three main line with a PSV as you see we have a PSV for protecting the slack catcher that means if the pressure or slack catcher is rich more than that the normal operation that means we reach a design pressure for that reason we have the mechanical device for protecting the watt the slack catcher and also the train a the train b that means it's normally we are sending the gas to both train this train is consists of the several different for example equipment this equipment we are using for what for the separation of the crude and the water and the gas is also for for removing the salt and the water and removing the H2S and preparing the, the crude oil and sending it to the tank is with a high quality and standard 
specification. By the way, this is a general idea that I wanted to share with you all the time. Uh, you can get more useful from my site, especially on my YouTube. And if you want to be the expert pupil in the CPF or in the high CS, for example, they have a two different level. The level one is the beginner intermediate, and the level two, I have it advanced level this is advanced level you can control everything that you want in here for example i can control how much the the gas and the liquid and the water is coming from the wells okay you can control it from the we can prepare the esd uh, shutdown valve and sis system this is also and it can controlling the pressure inside of the slug catcher and the liquid outlet to the train is from the slug catcher that has mean the heart is the unique program we can use it for controlling for simulation for design this is the main for example and the main idea that they have about the houses by the way as you know as a current trainer you can get my courses to be expert people in your career especially in the oil and gas industry i have a different uh, courses like uh, houses in the two devil and i have uh, for example the course for the natural gas processing for the refineries also that is you can take don't worry guys you can take during the you can take for example my courses during six months you can become the expert pupil in this sector okay guys i think this is the uh, end of my idea that they that they had about to the cpf i know this is not for example hide deeply but just by the way i wanted to explain and i give the idea to you okay uh okay guys bye bye have a good day all right at that time you have to get in some different